Hi everyone, this is Mr. Drury. I was going to show everybody real quickly how to use the mashup tool in Blackboard. And to use this, first thing you do is go to the content area where you want to put your, your mashup or to embed something. And there's a lot of things you can embed here. These are all Flickr photos, screenshots, or slide shares, I mean. And, but YouTube is what everybody uses a lot of, I know. So I'm going to show you how to put a YouTube directly into your Blackboard real quick and easy. If you know the title of the, of the video you want to use on YouTube, you just type it here. I happen to know that I'm looking for a couple things for Dr. Oyani. Uh, this one on spinning mills. And if you'll click there, you will see this will come up. And here is the video that he wants to use. Now this allows you to preview these videos to make sure it's what you want, right there. And then if you just click select, there's a few options. Here you can just standard text, put in a description, or what you want them to do with this. There's two ways, well actually three ways of, of doing this. What I suggest doing really is this way to embed the video. And I always at least leave this on no and this on yes. And down here, of course, this is just your standard options. I like to track views so I, you can tell how many people have actually looked at the material. And then you just click submit. And in a second or two, there you go. That's what it looks like. And they can play it from right here in Blackboard. They don't have to go hunt it up on YouTube or anything like that. The other way you can do, saves a little space, and if you're putting a lot of videos in, this is probably the way to go, and I'll just show you how to do that with the other video we were looking for on the Industrial Revolution. And you do it the same way. And this is our video that we want. Now, it's not always going to be that easy to find them. A lot of times, if you just type in a keyword, you're going to have to search through until you find what you want. Now, the standard thing it kicks up with is thumbnail version. So I'll leave it like that for a second here and show you what that looks like. And you can see that if you were going to put five or six of these on a page, this would be the way to go because they don't take as much space up probably and your students don't have to scroll. And in the world that we live in today, the easier you make it for them to find what they're looking for, the better off we all are. Hope that's been helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.